there was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable YouTubers to celebrate the past 10 years or so of Marvel movies. This idea was led by Nando V Movies to talk about the greatest scenes in the MCU. It all started about a month and a half ago. Jesus, I'm even late to the after party here. Everybody now is probably suffering from one marvelous hangover and is vowing never to watch another Marvel movie again. Well, I stand corrected. Even though I've put it off for so long since the first time Endgame was in theaters, I still wanted to talk about what I think is one marvelous scene. It comes from Thor Ragnarok. The scene I chose is what I'm calling the devil's anus. Wait, 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 who's anus? And no, it is not because of the frequent use of the word anus. The devil's anus? Anus? Wait, 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 who's anus? Through the anus. <clears throat> I chose the scene because I wanted to talk about this specific moment from the scene. He's totally ready to kill any of us. He did try to kill me. Yes, me too, on many, many occasions. There was one time when we were children, he... He transformed himself into a snake, and he knows that I love snakes. So I went to pick up the snake to admire it, and he transformed back into himself, and he was like, yeah, it's me, and he stabbed me. We were eight at the time. I chose this moment because I think it is a great example of how this movie makes the relationship between Thor and Loki as brothers believable, almost relatable even. First of all, the sharing of a childhood story gives us some backstory into the lives of Thor and Loki, but the humorous tone in which the story is told shows the kind of relationship Thor and Loki have. It's told as if someone was retelling the events of when they were pranked by their brother, as opposed to someone retelling a near-death experience. Thor even mocking his brother's voice during the story he was like, yeah, it's me. seems funnier to me knowing this is exactly how stories are exaggerated to make fun of our siblings. I believe that this line right here he transformed himself into a snake and he knows that I love snakes is an example of how Loki took advantage of something that only he would know about his brother in an attempt to best him. Also, the kind of relationship you have with somebody affects how they might react to the story. Bruce Banner shows signs of shock and concern towards the situation, while Loki bears a smirk that says, Oh, those were the days. Later in the scene, Loki recommends Why not set the beast loose? as a distraction for any guards during their planned escape, obviously suggesting for Bruce to hulk out. I love Thor's dismissive reaction to this because it sounds like a natural response one would give to a sibling or close friend that tries to reveal a secret of sorts. Is it a beast? No, there's no beast. This is being stupid. This scene is just one example of how well this movie betrays Thor and Loki's relationship as siblings. It's a short scene that's played for laughs, but hey, I always love making my siblings laugh whenever I get the chance. Ow. Of course, there are many smaller examples in Thor Ragnarok that seem to strengthen Thor and Loki's relationship, and I wanted to bring them up. First off, their dialogue seems much more natural. Their dialogue seems less dramatic, as if they are mortal enemies in a Shakespearean drama. But more personally antagonizing. Like, as if they had been stuck in the back of a car for hours on end while on a trip to Saskatoon. Sorry, that's more of a personal note there. There are moments where Thor and Loki bicker. I swear I left him right here. Right here on the sidewalk or right there where the building's being demolished? Great planning. How was I supposed to know? I can't see into the future, I'm not a witch. No? Well, why'd you dress like one? Hey. There are moments in which Thor actually expresses his love for his brother. I saw you die. I mourned you, I cried for you. I'm honored. Loki, I thought the world of you. And when Thor feels hurt by Loki's actions, it actually feels personal. Say something. 
Would you like me to say? You faked your own death. You stole the throne, stripped Odin of his power, stranded him on Earth to die, releasing the goddess of death. If I said enough, would you like me to go back further in the past two days? Loki also seems to relish the fact that Thor now understands his pain. Hurts, doesn't it? Being lied to. Being told you one thing and, and learning it's all a fiction. I will not be bloody Lastly, I can't talk about Thor and Loki's brotherly love without mentioning everybody's favorite moment. Get help! Please! My brother is dying! Get help! Help him! The fact that Loki almost immediately refuses to do get help suggests that this isn't the first time this has happened. I assume Loki was frequently reluctant, or even unconscious, each time get help was being performed. I think Thor enjoys this moment because, one, he's always been the one doing the throwing, which is why Loki hates it. Oh, classic. <sighs> Still hate it? It's humiliating. No, not for me, it's not. And two, it's an extra slap in the face to Loki because Thor suspects Loki is going to betray him. Because that's kind of what he does. This is also why Thor made sure to plant that taser thing onto Loki. I like to think that happens right here. And if I'm being honest here, this bro toss just reminds me of my brothers and I doing wrestling moves on our trampoline as kids. Which kind of makes me wonder if Chris Hemsworth did something like get help with his brothers growing up. Oh, speaking of, Luke Hemsworth cameo. Look, I know it sounds cliche to actually say out loud, but I often find that it's the little things between siblings that make that bond special. There's of course the family resemblance. Ooh. Now you remind me of dad. We often tease each other. Oh, I like the statue. A lot better looking than he was when he was alive. A little, a little less weasley, less greasy, maybe. We bicker. <laughs> Yes, of course I'm alive. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm stuck in this stupid chair. Where's your chair? I didn't get a chair. Well, get me out of this one. I can't. Get me out. I can't. Right. We throw things at each other. Ow. Oh. We throw each other at things. Help him! Sometimes we are embarrassed to even be related. <laughs> I've never met this man in my life. He's my brother. He's adopted. And if there's a family squabble, Outsiders might not want to even get involved. And you and I, we have to fight this really powerful being who also happens to be my sister. Okay, that is so wrong on so many... I don't want to fight your sister. That, that's, a, that's a family no, issue. She's an evil being. I don't care how, what she is. I'm not fighting any more beings. But if someone not in the family criticizes your brother, you'll defend them. That guy's brain is a bag full of cats. He can smell crazy on him. I care how you speak. Loki is beyond reason, but he is of Asgard. He's my brother. Yet, for being so close, we don't often say the things that we need to. We should listen, we, uh, we should talk. I disagree. Open communication was never our family's forte. Sibling relationships are weird. And yet, at the end of the day, we still love each other. Thank you. If you're here, I might even give you a hug. I'm here. I firmly believe that some of the weirdest people you know are the ones you love the most. There they are. My boys. Give us a big smile, boys. Oh, <laughs> Cheers. Thank you all for watching. Uh, yes, that was actual real life footage of my own family uh, videos. Um, I, w I was the cute one with the red curly hair. 
Uh, I too also don't know what the hell happened. Anyway, um, this is my first video essay type thing ever. I just had it in my head for two months and it needed to uh, get put out onto the internet for all to see. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Nando B Movies and the other people who did the uh, One Marvelous theme, uh, Scene thing. Um, I'd like to thank my brothers and sisters for just being awesome. Um, I'd like to thank my buddy Chris. You know what you did. Anyway, um, and thank you all for watching. Um, is that all I wanted to say? Let's say it is all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you again for watching Pitanov, uh, um and all that fancy stuff. Um, yeah, let's call it a night. Thank you. Bye.